Hi YouTube, this is uh, CK. I'm trying to uh, give an instruction on how to actually properly use the profile my run smartness or for running. It's gonna help you a lot when you do discover that you have few pain and knee pain when you run this way.
on the app, activate the apps, right? So this is the activation. And first thing, you come to the sensor screen. Look, this is sensor screen. Nothing on it. Just click start scan. Just press the start scan. And you have all the devices. One of the devices is called the profile something something something. Now this is going to be the name of that sensor you bought from the store. So once you press that, it will be connected. Look, this is connected now. And all you need to do is to uh, go to the uh, several page here. There is the uh, tab of the uh, shoe sensor. So this is the beginning. This is the menu. As you can see if it's connected, you will shake the sensor. You will all over the place, the shoes all over the place, right? So it's moving according to the sensor. And uh, what what you need to do is to uh, go to the score area and see that your, your score is still low, okay? It's zero, you haven't to start running. So so uh, it's, it's just clean it up. If there's any outlet over the previous one, make sure it's zero, okay? And then you go back to your uh, shoe sensor again. Now I'm, I'm actually uh, converting from configuring the in profile my on the left. Feet. Okay, the camera is on the reverse side, so it's on the left feet. What you're gonna do is the, for the left feet, I'm gonna lace it up like that. So the the, the, the connector is on this uh, right side, and uh, you should be good, good to go. And uh, when you uh, activate your apps, there's a right and the left. So you're gonna click on your shoe sole to the left. You will just click on this shoe. See this? Click it. see this left see left so it's on left feet and also uh, I actually has annoying sometimes people say feel annoying when you uh, there's too many stuff that I measure I measure the speed is really frequent and the cadence if you want to let him measure your cadence accurately you just unclick the uh, cadence now you have cadence uh, activated and there's two shoe four feet this is the top is the uh, alert for your forefeet strike and the, the bottom one is alert for your uh, heel strike so uh, initially the, the uh, uh, voice alert is turn, in, turn off right so uh, let, let me just demonstrate once you turn on the run so you can go running so uh, but, but when you go running uh, you want to alert to be turned on Coffee alert turn on and the heel alert to turn on, right? So now it's all turning on, so you can see. So uh, let me simulate because uh, I can't hold my phone as well as do the simulation for the fourth strike for you, sorry. So let me see if I can uh, uh, put it somewhere. Yeah. So let, let me just do this. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me just do this real quick. You see that? I can do this. Okay, there is a sensor at the point, right? So once you press that sensor, you, you can see the... You see that? You see that? There's a 4 feet sensor here. Uh, let me see. Come on. There's a place where you feel the sensor. The 4 sensor. Somewhere around this area. So it actually detects the midfoot strike and it will calculate the amount of uh, system free from the center of mass and then you can calculate the statistic out of uh, balancing how balanced you are when you do the strike. But just imagine you strike the heel. You see? So you strike the heel, always strike the heel. Okay, imagine you are a beginner runner and you always strike the heel relative to the mass on the uh, behind. 50 time heel strike, you keep striking the heel. And uh, let's see that you're really bad. So this is all like the. Uh, let's just stop the, the.
the simulation again. I stopped the simulation. You hear that? A hundred times you strike the heel and you probably want to stop running because you're going to injure your heel, your knee, and eventually locking up your, your knee and all the pressure on your knee and the heel and it's going to be hurting. And you go to the score, it's zero, but you can press the button to compute and there you go. They have actually strike eight midfoot and 104 um, uh, heel strike and the total score is uh, very low it is, it's seven percent so it's not actually uh, satisfactory you want to improve that as you go along and the way that you improve is by by clicking this this uh this this button here this is called the paramedic button it's like a ambulance button it will be directed to a very good instructor that i always learn from him he's an australian uh, marathoner and he have a lot of videos that is useful you saw that and i always like to hear what he say about how the beginner adopt the right pause and right technique in order to prevent all the, the unnecessary layers. just like olympia okay so that that is a lot of useful uh, direct uh, every day every every week i will update this uh, so to help uh, runner and uh, by the way this is about you know the, the amount of stuff that you need to do as you work out and go running and with this alert you'll be able to get used to the landing on the midfoot hopefully in the very future you can go to progressive tuning the the, the parameter i will go to this next video on how to actually tune as you get better and better you want to narrow the zone on central mass of control so as you go for distance you want to balance the cadence versus speed versus strike distance so all that stuff will come in handy when you're doing the long distance and want to improve your time and all that that, that would be, be more intermediate stuff but uh, in the meantime this is about as basic as you can get using the scene so just basically out of the box and hopefully you can have it right and uh, there's always a, 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 a thing that that you can do with this uh, very open source apps uh, i put up the data the statistic data on the uh, email uh, if you have a set up an email on iphone you can actually download that into a, a tablet from tablet go into your microsoft or excel and you can actually plot out your curve your, your, your mid foot strike versus uh, heel strike versus the uh, acceleration and all that stuff you can do very scientifically uh, if you want to go into that detail about how you're running policy and i kind of have another uh, web apps that actually can uh, tabulate and, and do data analytics on it on your on running pause and transform that into animation if you want there's actually a running animation that uh, you can take a look at a, a couple of uh, page, page you can go into the post page and uh, take a look at the animation just click on the animation and you can actually see how you run after gathering the data from the shoe sensor and um, hopefully yeah there you go so so you can actually see your exact running uh, posture and uh, use this uh, very uh, that's how i run right now see uh, simulations show that i actually land a little bit far on the shoe side you can take a look at that but anyway that's the end of the details i hope everybody uh, can uh, you know know exactly how to basically use my uh, this uh, this uh, wonderful part called profile my run and uh, like me like my page if you want uh, I have a Facebook page profile my run and you can join the three about three thousand members right now everybody is enjoying it running it fun this thing so initially I was giving out like hundred things so uh, to whoever is interested but uh, right now it's about 3,000 members we can actually join and, and uh, we, we have uh, organized a uh, good running and occasionally we gather in the meetup to uh, discuss you know, what should we do with the apps and with the next version of our product so uh, thank you and uh, subscribe to my video if you like uh, me my video and uh, want me to uh, share more about the product in the future I have another video coming up with the fact that I want to share how the intermediate runner should be using this in some Thank you.